Hello, and welcome back to the Mobius Archives. This is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing Minecraft 1.64 with mods. I've been looking down there, and there was a little... There you go, a little bat flying out of there. And that makes me think that... It makes me think that that's a deep cave, because usually you only find bats in deep caves. Um, you never know. However, I uh, haven't done much here. But I have prepared some stuff. I had some Vintium dust cooking up here. Oh, uh, as far as I could tell, this is one of the easier ways to get Vintium dust. Uh, I am surprised that it wasn't here. How to get it. How to get it. Yeah, shapeless. Oh, what the? I swear that wasn't there before. <sighs> Alright, anyway. Uh, I have Venteam Dust. I need that for stuff. Uh, that stuff being... Let's see. Structures, crafting altar. We need it for the magic wall. Two Venteam and one stone. And we need it for this crafting altar, which is just stone and vintium. So let's just get that done. Uh, I have some stone here. And I have some vintium here. And we put them together and they make magical things. How many? Oh, I think I might just have enough. It's three, right? Actually, let's check this. One, two, three, yep. Um, that means six. And, oh, oh, you get a lot of these out of one. Never mind. Never mind. One crafting altar. Thank you very much. I've got a lot of these magic walls. Hopefully they're useful for something else. But yeah. Ooh, magic see-through walls. Magic see-through walls. Can't walk through them. But they're there. Crafting altar in the top. Um, I need glass, I believe we said. Glass. So for these caps. Eh. Glass, glass. This is the most least magic version of this crafting altar. There we go. Uh, what else do we need? So we've got the crafting altar. It does... I don't know. Does it do anything if I just do that? And it looks right. Assuming I don't need, like, the exact matching materials. According to this, it doesn't seem to need it. So I can have glass and, um... Where'd it go? Crafting altar. Graft and gra glass and wood planks or strewn brick if I wanted to. Um, so that's that. You block the oculus. So that requires stone bricks, some glass, some coal, and some blue topaz. Blue topaz. Three blocks. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. One glass. Wait. Oh no, it's just the animation. I thought I saw a number ticking down here. I thought something was disappearing. Paranoia. Paranoia. I don't need these up here either anymore. But block. So this is for the Oculus. Right? What do you look like? All right, so it's Oculus, I'll have it. Put that up here. Oh, and this is a portal. A portal, a book back to my base, so I don't have to do too much running around, so I could go like this. And go like this. Get back here. This is going to be my overworld nexus. And it's just on the other side of our, our, our 
our um, miscraft uh, library and writing area. So these are the off-world books. And on this side, it's the overworld nexus. So I can, I'll actually eventually add more books here. This one just takes us to the farming outlier. Uh, this one takes us here. So the Oculus. Uh, what did it say? Gateway to the Stars the Oculus shows you your innermost self. It is here that you can spend skill points to unlock new shapes, components, and modifiers. There can be three. There are three kinds of skill points, which are which can be learned by obtaining infinity orbs from dungeons, other world gen, and summoning rituals. The skills when learned, when learnable, will glow with the corresponding skill point needed to unlock it. Blue are the most common skill points, followed by green, and finally red. All right. Projectile. Can't learn any of these. They're in... Oh, is that? That's, um... The language from Commander Keen. What else do we have? Self. All right. And utility, talents, so this is defense, something about the self. Utility is by touch, and talents, mana regen, color. Huh. Well, I have three of these, and apology if you heard that, that's my coffee speaking. I have three points. And if this is going to be at all useful, I imagine I'm going to need mana regen. I imagine there's other ways to do stuff, but uh, mana regen. Did I just do it? That was easy. There's no, like, accept or anything like that. All right. And let's say... Let's see if I can... So this here looks like... Fire, lightning, which is always useful, as a projectile. So if I want to go on the offensive, here itself, and squatting, and feather, and all these dark, dark symbols here. There's horns. Uh, here's swimming in a pool. Grabbing stuff. Um, that looks like healing. Because it has the heart. Health. And that has, has the plus sign. So that's definitely healing. But I need two more to get to that. Hmm. I don't think I'll need that just yet. So let's take a look at projectile. So now no projectile. Is gravity... Physical damage and bounce. Hmm. A gravity projectile, physical damage projectile. Let's do physical damage. Okay. So we have projectile and physical damage and mana regen. None of these, what I know whether it does anything. Oops. All right. Mechanics, enchantments, no. So I can now regen mana. Oops. I can now regen mana. Spell creation, blank rune. Place a book from the inscription table on the lectern. Oh, I have symbols. Oh, and so I could do projectile. I drag it with physical damage. Do I name this? What do I do? I turn music down a bit because that's quite loud. At least for me today. All right, let's go back to our guide. Our first spell. Craft a writable book and head over to the inscription table. Oh, damn it. Do I have books on me? I need a book and quill. 
unless that's something else. That's a written book. It looks like a book and quill here, unless there is an item. Spell book. The spell book is a useful item to have, allowing mages to organize their spells and save space at the same time. Okay. First spell. Craft a writable book. So I'm assuming that's a book and quill. Uh, doesn't I don't see a recipe for a writable book. I know I have some spare books. Whoa. No spare books there. Huh. That surprises me. I should have books kicking about all over the place. Like here. For no explicable reason. Um, what the hell did I do with those feathers? Damn it. Damn it. Of course I need them. I need them. And they're not here. Uh, feathers. Okay. So. Book. And feather. Feather? Feather. What is it? So this. Book and quill. Oh, I need ink. Of course I need ink. Need ink for everything these days. Ink. Feather. And book. Gets us a book and quill. Just gonna toss the feathers back. Hopefully won't need too many of these. And put my... Ah, put my... I'll take my berry med back. No, I don't want the persimmon. Ink sack, back in there. There we go. And take the book and quill, and let's get ourselves out of here. I'm probably missing more stuff, so I'll probably be back here in just a moment. But, until then, we will, um, go the wrong way. Here. Back to our tower. Alright, so put a book and quill in here. At least that's what that symbol means to me. Craft that. Proje drag, drag this projectile with its physical damage. Removing the book will finalize the spell and I'll name it... Uh... Book from afar. Done. We have poke from afar. Now, if I look at this, it's a combination of projectile and physical damage. It needs an iron sword, a red rune, snowball, ventium dust, and an arrow. And it has an affinity breakdown of earth. So we need an iron sword, a red rune. I, I don't know how to make. I have Ventium Dust. Just made it up. Alright, uh, leave that there. That there, leave that there. So, what do I need? Not that arrow either. Probably. Those are the arrows that are crafted by Tinker's Construct. So I need to get an arrow. Bolt, arrow. Snowball e is easy. Red rune, right. Red rune. Red rune, red rune. Where's my book? There it is. Okay, how do I make runes? Runes. Red. Using a blank rune and some dye. Blank rune is just some cobblestone. Do I have cobblestone? Yes. Let's make that up first. So we have that component. So a couple of blank runes. And I'll take one of them that we turn red. Do I have any roses on me? Do not. I'll need that. 
Uh, red rune. So I need rose red. A snowball. Snowball. Um, iron sword. And an arrow. All right, let's just head back. Now that it's easy to head back. Can do that just fine. I'm pretty sure. I heard something. I'm pretty sure. I was wrong. I thought I had rose red in here. Pink. Daffodils. This will make a sword. I haven't made a vanilla sword in ages. So one of those. Da da da. Vanilla sword. <laughs> Time to strike. Yes, indeed. I have been running around with a cutlass for like a century and a half. Um. Rose red. Perfect. And an arrow. All right, let's head back. And just trying to figure out how to get back. That was funny. All right, so apparently I need a shortcut from... Oh, crap, I hate it when it does that. It sounded like it came from this direction. Hopefully it didn't land on top of my buildings because that's a pain in the ass to find. Let's see. Didn't seem to damage these guys. So that was a meteorite explosion. Terrifying. I know. Um, don't see it. I only saw one of these land once. I doubt that I'll see what... Oh, there it is. It landed right in the middle of our... Of our, um... Tree farm. Huh. Don't need rotten flesh right now. Don't need this many sticks. I'll leave the extra books. And I'll switch here. Yes, I'm going to go mine that. Because those are actually ours magica resources. Now if I turn on any highlight tips. We'll see. Ours magica too. It's not actually a blue topaz block. This is moonstone. So that. And apparently I got a flower as well. Uh, that'll do. I'll patch up that hole later. If I remember. It'll annoy me if I don't, but... Oh well. Oops. Ah, get out of there. Wanted to open the gate. Didn't open the gate. Alright, let's get back and get making our... First... Ever spell. Alright, so I have... Uh, this rune. And this gives us rose red. I have our iron sword. What else does this need? So. Iron sword, red rune, snowball, ventum dust, and arrow. So, let's just get... Stuff better organized. Iron sword, red rune, ventum dust. And I forgot it already. I stored red room snowball, ventium dust, and arrow. Snowball. And arrow. Okay, now what do I do with it? What do I do with it? Do I have all the stuff? Your first spell. So the book. Drag the spare parts you want in order from the top. Okay, did that. Once your crafting completed, go to your crafting armor and place your 
book can contain the spell recipe on the lectern. Ding. Red? Why is that red? Red usually means... That's the wrong book. Give me the back. That one! Okay. Mm, first spell. Throw a blank rune into the middle. Uh -huh. Rune. Just make sure all my particles are up. Just in case it rains and I'll have to turn them off again. Hmm. Okay. So, let's see. Throw a blank room into the middle of the crafting altar to begin the process. Follow the book's prompts. The book itself is worth the reading we just did. The materials list for the spell and an affinity breakdown of the spell, which is Earth 100%. Note that certain crafting altars can only craft spells that are so powerful, too much power, and bad things can happen. See, crafting altar. Okay, so toss this in. Yeah. There we go. And now it wants Vintium Dust. Good. An arrow. And Snowball. And Red Rune. And the Sword. What's that? That's... That's something else. I'm going to guess that's spell parchment. Yeah, it's a sticks and paper. Okay, let's get that. I definitely have sticks. And I have paper. Oops. I just tossed the paper into my backpack. Ooh. Two sticks. And paper. Gives us spell parchment. Spell parchment. Gives us a spell. Yay! Ooh. I need something to use this on. Where are you? Oh, I hear a pig. Pig, you could be the first victim. Hmm. If I can find you, bloody hell. Oh, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, ouch. Hello. Oh, poke from a... What? So that... <laughs> well, it makes a pig fall. Well, that kills him. Um, let's go see... About. Okay. Did that use anything? You. You ran. You got hurt a bit. One damage. I'm guessing that bar that keeps on popping up. Yeah. Oops. Is my experience bar. As these poor pigs get, uh, target practiced. Mmm, pork chops. So does that mean I'm level six or I have six something? I don't know what that number in the middle means. Um, there's a moon thingy on the right. Is that my mana? Ooh, an enemy. Can I charge it by right clicking? Actually using it on something that might hurt me. Hold and fire! 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 Poke! Okay, oh. Yay, I killed it. With my first spell. Alright everybody, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mobius Rex for the Mobius Archives, constructing our first spell. 
If you like what you've been seeing, have little suggestions, uh, let us know. I just got a suggestion to make a smeltery to, to world height. And I decided from world depth as well. Um, so we might do that later episode, but that's a lot of digging, so there's going to be a lot of prep. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. This has been Mobius Rex for the Mobius Archives. Please subscribe if you have not already. Give us a like or a dislike, and definitely, most importantly, many, many comments. Uh, have a good day, and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.